So, but if you guys kind of follow my pattern that I have developed over here, we know this is to the eighth power, right? So we know this first term is going to be 3x raised to the eighth power. So I can do 3x to the eighth power. Again, that's the whole 3x to the eighth power, the 3 included. Okay. Then we know the next, now remember, we're trying to find the third term. So the next term is going to be 3x to the, what happens, what happens in that first term? It goes in descending order. So the next one is going to be 3x to the 7. So therefore, my third term is going to be 3x to the 6th power. And again, remember, this is what we're looking for, right? That's our answer. Then we take our second term, and that goes in ascending order. So it's 1 to the 0, 1 to the 1st, and then 1 to the 2nd. But again, guys, 1, we do really care about 1. I mean, 1's not changing our problem, right? Then the last, so we covered the ascending and descending parts. Now we need to work into our um, coefficients. So if we go ahead and look at Pascal's triangle, um, if you guys, I only went up to 7, right? So to go to 9, the next row of Pascal's triangle would be 1. 1 plus 7 is 8. 7 plus uh, 21 is going to be 28. And that looks like the third term anyways, right? So it would be 1, 8, 28. So basically, this third term is 28, 3x to the 6th times 1, which is just not even there. So now what I need to do is take a calculator, which uh, has a big power. Can I borrow your calculator? Just make sure that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 3, raise it to the 6th power, and then multiply that by 28. And yes, it's a big number. And your final answer is 20,412 x to the 6th power. And that's what your middle third term would be. Anybody have any questions on how I did that or where I got any answers? This is your one time to ask.